Importance of Photosynthesis Photosynthesis role in biological life. Life's most important equation. Life's most important equation. This is the most important equation in life. This equation describes photosynthesis. Six CO2 molecules plus 12 waters plus photons go to C6H12O6, carbohydrate, plus 6 oxygen plus 6 water molecules. Look at both sides of the arrow. On the input side is water, carbon dioxide, and light. On the output side is glucose, oxygen, and water. From light energy to food, photosynthesis produces oxygen, carbohydrates, ATP and NADPH. This supports plant life. Plant life enters the food chain. This supports animal life. What is photosynthesis? Carbon dioxide plus water plus light energy gives glucose plus oxygen plus water. Photosynthesis. Carbon dioxide and water with photosynthesis results in carbohydrates and O2. ADP plus inorganic phosphate in respiration produces ATP in photosynthesis. Importance of photosynthesis. So why is photosynthesis and that equation so important? It's because photosynthesis generates food that's essential for life. Photosynthesis is also critical in making oxygen. The process consumes CO2 and balances the atmosphere. This segment of the tutorial will describe photosynthesis. Introduction to major photosynthetic structures. Overview of photosynthesis process. Photosynthesis overview. Photosynthesis happens in the chloroplast. Chlorophyll in chloroplast is the actual site of photosynthesis. Light absorption by chlorophyll induces electron transfer. Two photosystems generate a proton gradient and NADPH in oxygenic photosynthesis. A proton gradient across the thylakoid membrane drives ATP synthesis. Light absorption. A photon, light, transfers its energy to special pigments, carotenoids and chlorophyll A and B. The absorption of the photon energy by an electron in the ground state causes the electron to become excited. Photon exciting the electron. The electrons go through an electron transport chain generating a potential across the membrane used to make ATP. Chloroplast structure. Chloroplast is a plant organelle and the site of photosynthesis. It has a permeable outer membrane, an intermembrane space. It encloses the stroma in the inner membrane. Stroma fluid surrounding the thylakoids site of dark reaction. Grana thylakoids arranged in stacks. 
thylakoid flattened membrane is the place of the light reaction. Remember, thylakoid, place of the light reaction. Photosystem A photosystem is a network of chlorophyll and other pigments that capture the photon energy and amplify it. It's located in the thylakoids. Each photosystem has its own reaction center molecules. Reaction center chlorophyll, P700, photon goes in. Antenna molecules capture the energy. These are chlorophyll A, B, and carotenoids. This is a photosystem. Light harvesting molecules. This is the chloroplast. Let's look at its reaction center in a little more detail. The grana enclose the light harvesting molecules, absorbs and transfers light energy to the reaction center. This is the exploded view of the photosystem reaction center and the antenna molecules. An electron is absorbed and the energy transferred to the reaction center. Light absorbing structures. Two types of chlorophylls, A and B. They absorb light in the deep blue to red range. It reflects green light, hence looks green. Chlorophylls are specifically arranged into what is called a photosystem. There are two photosystems, one and two. Photosystem two absorbs in the 680 nanometer wavelength range and photosystem one absorbs wavelengths around 700 nanometers. Chlorophylls. Four porphyrin rings. A magnesium metal ion in the middle. Photons. Chlorophyll in the ground state. Energy level goes up with the absorption of the energy from the photons. It's captured by magnesium as electrons in chlorophyll. Chlorophyll goes to the excited state. Electron transfer to the photosystem. Chlorophyll regeneration. Regeneration is accomplished by the chlorophyll going back to the ground state.